three-man team of professors has won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, and all three are Jewish, with two hailing from Israel. Michael Levitt, a British U.S. citizen of Stanford University, U.S.-Austrian Martin Karplus of Strasbourg University in Harvard, and U.S.-Israeli Ariel Warshel of the University of Southern California will share this year's prize of around $1.25 million. Warshel said the work for which he and his colleagues received the prize is for developing a method that allowed them to understand how proteins work. The trio devised computer simulations to understand chemical processes. In so doing, they revolutionized research in areas ranging from pharmaceuticals to solar energy. Warshel, who was a U.S. and Israeli citizen, spoke of his joy and ties to Israel. I am very happy. Most of the work was done in England, but the continuation and verification was done at the University of Southern California. I'm very grateful to the University of Southern California for allowing me to do the work. I feel more like an Israeli, but I am always an American. Israeli President Perez asked me my story, so I said, I am from a kibbutz, and he said, we are neighbors, because he is also from a southern kibbutz. I pointed out that we are not from the same movement because my kibbutz was more to the left. And then he said, that's interesting that Jews are better in chemistry, to which I mentioned as opposed to physics. So he continued on and tried to understand what I did, which I explained to him, and he was very proud. And he said that humanity was proud in that my research would help in curing diseases and again congratulated me. He also described how the team used computers to understand molecules. Chemistry is, has a lot of features, and uh, what we did, we realized that computers are probably the best way to understand complex molecules because they are just too complex and too large to figure out what happened by experiment. And this was new, it was also not accepted by many people who do experiments. And uh, so the idea of using computers to understand forces in molecules would have occurred eventually anyhow, because computers are not doing anything. But uh, in chemistry and biology, it's also gaining now momentum. But the idea that, which I believe in, though I should not sell it too hard, that the ultimate understanding of how biological molecules are working will be done by computer is completely clear to me. It's not in the citation or anything, but so this is the direction that things are going. But the computer needs the human brain to help to understand. And Michael Levitt said their efforts are an acknowledgement of the important role computers play in biology. I was sleeping, it was 2.11, I think. We have a clock that projects on the ceiling, so I know that. I was sure the first call was a, a wrong number, uh, because no one ever calls me. I don't ever answer the phone, so no one calls me. I get text messages and emails, but no phone calls. And then they called again, and I managed to answer it. And uh, it was uh, clear that it was from Sweden. It was sort of nice, because uh, they... Uh, tell you who else won the prize so you don't feel bad that someone who maybe you think should have got it didn't get it or got it or whatever. It's nice to see this work recognized right now because it's kind of an acknowledgement that computers are an important part of biology. Biology has generally been an experimental science and I think this is the first Nobel Prize in either biology, well, in, in the biology, well it's, it's a chemistry prize, it is for biological molecules that actually really acknowledges the role of computers. And Given how computers have become so incredibly important for everything else, you know, it's, it's kind of fitting and I think it's a tribute to the whole area of what we call computational biology. Israel has long punched far above its demographic weight when it comes to the Nobel Prize. The latest Jewish laureates mark Israel's fifth and sixth winners of the Chemistry Prize in less than 10 years. Of the 23 Chemistry Nobel Prizes handed out in the last decade, 11 of the winners were Jewish and six of them were Israelis.